Hello and welcome to a new episode. We're working on Unit 2, Lessons 1 and 2. Our topic of the day is how are you feeling? I think this is a very important question this year, specifically with everything going on. Let's get started. We're going to be reading a text about night workers, descriptions of weekend activities, an article about happiness for teenagers, and an informal email. Then we're going to be writing an email to a friend. We're going to be listening to people talk about learning new skills and also descriptions of photos. And we're going to be practicing or describing weekend activities along with photos and responding to news. Our language focus is adverbs of manner and our life skills are empathy. Look at the pictures in the quiz and match the jobs with the people. Let's see who can finish first. 3 a.m. in Cairo. Picture number one shows a street food seller. Picture two is showing a nurse. Picture three is showing a shop worker who probably works in a supermarket. Picture four shows a computer engineer. Picture five shows police officers. They can be male or female. And picture six shows call center workers. Now, I want you to research, find words for other jobs where people work at night. And then look through the unit. Where is Inji going on a school trip? Of course, Inji is going to Amman. So the pictures you can see in this quiz show workers or people who have night jobs. Sometimes they work at night. Let's get started. Now, I want you to read about some people in the photos. What are their jobs? 3 a.m. in Cairo. A. I'm looking after patients at a hospital. It's very busy. I'm looking after children in the children's ward. I like my job, but I'm feeling tired tonight. I'm looking forward to going home and having a rest. This was stated by Amal. Think about the job at the hospital. Who works the night job? B. We're driving around the city and making sure that people are safe in the streets. We aren't very busy tonight. It's cold, so everyone is staying at home. Idle is feeling a bit bored, and I'm feeling hungry. I'm looking forward to having breakfast. Ahmed and Idle. C. I'm parking my food stall here because it's the best place in the city. Lots of people and tourists come this way. People start to buy their breakfast at 6 a.m. I'm getting everything ready. I'm feeling cold and I'm looking forward to drinking some hot coffee. Kamel. Now, I want you to guess which of these descriptions show which jobs. Of course, 1A, that's the nurse. 2B, the police officer. And 3, a street food seller. Now, I want you to look at the words in bold. The first word we see is ward. The children's ward at the hospital is the children's department or location. If I say I'm looking forward to, it means I'm excited about or I can't wait for something specific to happen. If I'm making sure of something, I check that it is going well. Parking. If I'm parking, I'm placing my car or any form of transport at a specific place. A food stall is like a food cart that I use to cook my food in it. Now, I want you to ask and answer questions in pairs. Which of the jobs in exercise one do you think is the most important and why? Remember, use the present continuous to talk about what is happening now. So. If I'm showing something that I'm doing right now, I will say, I'm working today. If I'm showing the negative of something that is not happening now, I will say, you are not working today. Question. If you're asking a question, you can say, is your mother working? And then you can say, yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. What is your father doing? He is reading. So the present continuous verb tense includes am, are, is, plus the verb, plus I and G. We can use it in the positive, 
showing something that is happening or the negative something that is not happening or questions by starting with is or are. Now, I want you to read the article again if you need to and answer the questions. Why is Amal feeling tired? The answer is because the hospital is very busy. Who are driving around the city? Of course. Number two, who are driving around the city? The police officers Ahmed and Aid. Number three, why is everyone staying home? Why is everyone staying at home? Because it is cold. Number four, why is Kamel parking his food stall at this place? Because it's the best place in the city. Lots of people and tourists go that way. Number five, what is Kamel looking forward to? Kamel is looking forward to drinking some hot coffee. Now, I want you to think of two friends or two people in your family. What are they doing at the moment? Tell your partner. Let's read the examples. My mother is shopping at the moment. What is your mother doing? She's watching TV. Now, we're going to move on to lesson two. Read about what Ziad, Inji, and Aya do at the weekend. Choose two sentences from A to D. Number one. Hi, I'm Ziad. I live with my mom and dad in a small flat in Minya. At the weekend, I'm usually quite lazy. Number two. Hello, I'm Inji and this is my sister Aya. We live near the sea. Now, let's read the letters at the bottom. My father and my uncle have an old boat which they are repairing. I'm learning to sail but Aya doesn't like the water very much. On Friday evening, my parents and I usually have a big dinner with my grandparents and we sometimes stay at their house. It's bigger than our flat. Of course, B is already done for us. We matched it with number one. At the weekend, we do our homework and on Saturday, we sometimes spend time with our father and uncle on their boat. Okay, so if there's a boat and Inji and Aya live near the sea, this might be a possible answer. D. On Saturday morning, I often stay in bed and then I have a late breakfast with my grandmother. She's a fantastic cook. In the afternoon, I do my homework. Now, let's match the letters with the correct people. Of course, we match number one for Zied with B and D. B specifically talks about Friday evenings and what Zied does with his family and where he has a big dinner. And sometimes they stay at their grandparents' house. And of course, the hint and keyword is that the house they go to is bigger than their own house. Now, we will move on to Inji and Aya. Inji and Aya can match with A and C. My father and my uncle have an old boat, which they're repairing. I'm learning to sail, but Aya doesn't like the water very much. So here we have keywords for Aya and for Inji, along with C. At the weekend, they do their homework and on Saturday, they spend time with their father and uncle on the boat. Now, let's move on to exercise two. Choose the correct answer. On Saturday morning, Ziad enjoys spending time with, of course, his grandparents. At the weekend, Ziad likes to have a rest, play sports or go swimming. Of course, Ziad likes going to have a rest. Number three, at the weekend, Aya and Inji are helping to repair a boat, doing their homework or catching fish. They are doing their homework. They often spend time with their uncle and aunt, friends or uncle and father. Of course, the answer is C, uncle and father. Good job, guys. Let's move on to the speaking section. What do you usually do on the weekend? Ask and answer these questions to your partner. Whose weekend activities would you prefer to do Ziad or Inji's and why? Here, let's read the speech bubbles. At the weekend, I usually get up early. So, I would usually enjoy going to the beach. And I would prefer Inji's activities more than Ziad because Inji's activities are quite fun and active. What about you? Answer questions one and two with a partner. Now we're going to move on to our listening section for lesson two. 
Listen to three people talking about learning new skills and put the photos in the correct order. So we have calligraphy, sign language, painting the kitchen, and sewing. Let's see. I'm Tamir. At the moment, I'm learning a new skill. I'm learning sign language so I can communicate better with my cousin, Sammy. Sammy is deaf. He can't hear. He's learning sign language at school too. I'm having sign language lessons on Saturday morning so I can give Sammy a surprise. I'm Iman. At the weekend, I'm learning to do lots of new things. Our neighbor, Mr. Osman, is in the hospital at the moment. With some other neighbors in our building, we're repairing his flat. He lives in a lovely flat, but he can't look after it at the moment. My sisters and I are painting the kitchen and I'm also sewing some new curtains. I'm Manel. Mona and I are starting a calligraphy and art club at school. We're very excited about it. My uncle is an artist and he's coming to the school to teach us. We're studying traditional Arabic calligraphy and we're enjoying it very much. I'm making a calligraphy book for my uncle as a present. Now let's match the people talking to the skills. Number 1B. Number 2, C, which is painting the kitchen. Number 3, D. And number 4, A. Now, I want you to listen again. If you need to, you can rewind and answer the questions. Who does Tamir want to communicate with? Of course, he wants to communicate with his cousin. Number 2, what can't a deaf person do? A deaf person cannot hear. Number three, who are Hamed and her sisters helping? They are helping their neighbor, Mr. Osman. Number four, where is Mr. Osman? He is in the hospital. Number five, who is teaching Manel at the calligraphy and art club? Her uncle is teaching her. And number six, last but not least, what is Manel making for her uncle? The answer is she's making a calligraphy book. Good job, guys. Now we're going to move on to our language section. Now we're going to be using sentences in the correct form of the verb in brackets. It may be in the present simple or the present continuous. When do we use the present simple tense to talk about habits or things that we do regularly, repeated routines and actions, and things that are always true? As for the present continuous, we talk ab about things that are happening now, or unfinished actions in progress around now, or temporary things, or situations, or actions. Number one, Tamir is learning a new skill at the moment. Iman and her neighbor repair Mr. Osman's flat now. The answer is, of course, are repairing, because they're doing it now. Number three, Mr. Osman live in a lovely flat. Mr. Osman lives in a lovely flat. This is in the present simple. Manel and Mona study calligraphy every day. If they do this every day, then it's a habit. Then we will use study in the present simple. Now, let's jump to exercise seven. Work in pairs to ask and answer questions. Which subjects are you finding easy or difficult at school right now? Share your answer with a partner. Which subject is easy? And which subject is not easy for you? And tell your friend. Tell me about something that you're enjoying at the moment. Are you enjoying it? Yes or no? And why? Now we're going to jump to our exit slip, critical thinking section of our day. What is the importance of learning a new skill? Share your answer with a partner or a family member. 
Guys, that's a wrap. This was Ms. Sarah Bastioni. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.